Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is Dimma here. Guys, today I just want to do my makeup using new favorite products that you guys have not really seen me talk about. Also do a look that I've been really loving of late and then Japa, that's basically what this video is going to be about. Sometimes I miss the old YouTube so bad and then sometimes I don't because I kind of get what led to its downfall, especially the beauty community. But I found myself like, in different places this year where I could shop for makeup and one thing or one feeling that I'd like I feel would consume me on those occasions when I was in the UK when I was in Turkey when I was in Dubai was not knowing there used to be this thing of traveling out of the country and you have a list of products to get because you've seen your favorite youtubers talking about it you've seen reviews you've heard how great and amazing these products are we don't see a lot of people doing like that anymore and i get it like the drama in this community was too much okay i had my village people calling me at a point asking me who james charles was that's how big the youtube beauty drama was but I kind of miss it, you know, especially for black women. We used to always know what worked best for us, what to get excited about from watching specific YouTubers talk about them. That has not happened of late. I'm going to show you guys in this video, a lot of these are things that I'm loving because I just kind of blindly walked into the stores and just picked them up without like seeing a lot of people talking about them to be honest i got a lot of these things by just kind of testing around some of them were pr that i also ended up loving so i just want to tell you guys the exact things that i am loving in this video let's start i've not worn hoops in a very long time i feel special okay so let's start the first product that i'm really really loving and i'm going to be using in this video is this one it is the got to be it's basically got to be glued for brows and edges gel it comes in a tube like this very similar with what you would get with mascaras i don't know if this is focused but yes it looks like this comes with a very nice wand i've seen a lot of you guys complimenting my brows of late saying things like oh dimma your brows look fuller what have you done to them what have you been doing to them are you using something to grow them out guys like my brows are just naturally sparse but this product i really love the way it kind of gets in between everything and pulls all my hair to one direction and that just kind of gives the illusion that my brows are fuller than they are which is the goal <laughs> Okay, so with this gel, you have to give it about 5 to 10 minutes to dry down before you go over it with a pencil or powder or whatever it is you like to use to fill your brows in. I'm going to prime my face while I wait. And this is my current go-to favorite primer. This is from NARS and this is a soft matte primer. My Too Faced Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer that I would use all the time or I was using consistently for years here. Guys, that primer, I believe strongly at this point that it has been discontinued. The only place where I have not search for it is in the US but I could not find it anywhere in the UK when I was in the UK early this year. I did not see it in Turkey. I did not see it when I was in Dubai back in June. I do not know where you can get that primer from. So I just switched to something that is more accessible or something that I would not have to worry about replacing. So I'm just applying this on my T-zone area. Okay. The sun is just going up and down today to be honest. Kind of feels like it's about to rain feels like it's not about to rain i just hope that i'm not too washed out and that you guys can see me clearly guys um this primer is really really good um it keeps the oil at bay without drying my skin out um also gives my foundation a very very good base to sit on um please excuse the sun today guys i don't know what's up with the weather but i'm sure that you guys can see me clearly so yeah i've primed my face okay feels the way that I want it to. Yeah, these are almost kind of ready now. I have quite a few products from Charlotte Tilbury and this is that thing I'm saying about missing old YouTube. Around the time that reviews and just everything used to be a thing here, a lot of black women were not talking about Charlotte Tilbury per se. I saw it as a white people brand, but then I've seen that they've diversified a lot and I'm also kind of low-key seeing a lot of women of color using their products on Instagram right now. This is their brow cheat eyebrow pencil. I have spent quite a lot of money at Charlotte Tilbury this year and I did not do this based on anybody's recommendation. And for the very first time in a long time this year, I've let beauty reps that you find at counters kind of talk me into getting things and this brow product is one of those things that i let them talk me into getting okay and i love it and the shade that i have here is dark brown okay 
So I'm going to fill my brows in with this. I want these brows to not look too dark. I'm going to define my brows now. So once I've done that, that's kind of one of the hardest parts to do. I'm going to blend that concealer out. I'm going to prime my eye area. This is the MAC 24 hour extend eye base. This is going to prevent whatever I will apply here from creasing, just dabbing. It dries clear, so there's no color payoff. Go back in with the same brush to just kind of blend out my concealer again to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Okay. Okay. Going in with another concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and this is in the shade Butterscotch. This is around the same shade as the concealer that I used to define my brows, which is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40. I love to use a cream concealer to define, but for this particular step now, which is just basically like evening this area out, like I want this area to be very even and just like a solid color from lid to brow bone i love to use a liquid concealer for that this is also one of my favorite concealers it does not blend out too fast it gives you time and room to just blend okay guys this look is not hard at all it does not involve a lot of products for the eye area so this is just essentially how i want this area to look okay i'm going to set it with a powder this is my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I just like to do my eyes before moving on to the face. And this whole look is just mostly the complexion products. But then it's an overall gorgeous, gorgeous look. Okay? So moving on to foundation now. My foundation for this look is my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Macau. Okay? I'm going to be using my Zaron Foundation Brush to blend this into my skin. This is literally my go-to makeup look, like my go-to like every day, especially for maybe even when I'm going out or I have a date or I have an event and I don't want to do a lot of eyeshadow. This is the look that I just go for. One thing I love, love, love about NARS Sheer Glow for me is the finish. Like, guys, look how skin-like, how natural this finish is. It doesn't look like I have a lot sitting on my face. This foundation, I slept on it for such a long time. I would highly recommend that you get this. I have oily skin and this works. So NARS Sheer Glow in Macau. Macau is my shade, but NARS Sheer Glow for sure. It's just a very, very good foundation. And it's one of the older foundations from NARS. It's not even one of their newer releases. It's a very good foundation. I would highly recommend. Okay, so next I'm going to highlight my face and I'm going to be using Huda Beauty's Pore Filter Luminous Matte Concealer and this particular shade is in Brittle, okay? I'm going to apply this here and here. I'm going to go in with another concealer much later, but I'm going to contour now. This is my ABH um, stick foundation in truffle and just forehead.
Once I've blended out all that contour, I'm going to go in with another shade of concealer. This is Caramel by NARS, and this is your Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is lighter than the first concealer that I use in this area. And I'm just going to apply this just in this area and blend it out, okay? So I am going to set my under eye area with some powder, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I don't want to bake this area for too long. Fluffy brush, I'm going to take this powder into this area again. So to contour my face, I'm going to be using another Charlotte Tilbury product and this is their airbrush bronzer. It looks like this. I really, really love this. And I'm just going to blend this into the areas where I apply that cream contour. Forehead, lightly. So I'm going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to apply this contour on my eyes. So this is going to be the only powder product that I'm using in my eye area, to be honest. We're going to blend this out because I want the lines to be as seamless as possible. Okay, so I just basically pulled that contour product from here to here to kind of meet the contour product that I applied in this area, right? So everything is just kind of seamless. And I'm going to create a winged line with a brown liner. This is key. And this is the Huda Beauty Life Liner Quick and Easy, very brown. Okay, so I'm going to create a line. Guys, this pen liner is nothing short of amazing if you ask me. It's very pigmented, it gets the work done. It's just beautiful, okay? Guys, if you do not get any other product that I mentioned in this video, this, mm, it comes in black and brown. I just think that it makes lining your eyes so easy. I think I'm happy with the way that this line looks. I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty one. This is your full frontal mascara. If you have curly lashes, this is great. I am going to pop on some lashes real quick. Another product that I'm loving at the moment is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. I'm going to be using this to line my waterline. A very tight line, okay, just like that. I use this very, very lightly, but if you want your waterline darker than that, this works amazing still because it layers really well, okay? Just that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to apply mascara on my bottom lashes. As an all over setting powder, I'm using the Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder in number six. Blush. I'm going to be mixing two. And this is a Flory Robert Color Pro Blush in Papaya Punch and Max Blush in Raisin. The lighting. I'm never filming by this time ever in this room again. I like the subtle color that this has added to my cheeks. So just to finish this look up, I'm going to line my lips. And to line my lips, I'm going to be using Kiko's Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liner. And this shade is 321. Guys, this lip liner is so good okay so good for my gloss i'm going to be using nars loaded lip black coupling around this is my favorite like go-to lip gloss at the moment 
on most days i actually wear it like this however i'm going to show you guys what i also do so on the days where i want it to look like super super pouty like very highlighted in the middle i go in with kiko's tutu rose and just apply this in the middle Okay, to blend everything in, I am using my ABH lip gloss in Honey Diamond. Guys, so this is my favorite makeup look at the moment, using some of my favorite makeup products. Um, this video kind of took me a bit longer to film because of the weather, but I really like the way that it turned out. Like, I wear this everywhere, no matter the occasion, I'm going to wear this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have a list of everything that I have used with links in the description box. Let me know what you think. What do you think? I love you guys. Subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed. I can't believe I didn't say that. But I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.